Hello, my name's Nunny, and you're watching Underground Heroes. Friends, Romans, countrymen, and you, Nunny, let me your ears. Pepe and the Bandits here. Hope you're well. Happy New Year to you all. Um, contrary to popular belief, I'm not in prison. I am at home, although it looks very prison-esque here. Uh, just had my windows fitted, so that's the main reason behind that. I'm waiting for the curtains and furniture to come back in. So, uh, anyway, enough about my housing. Um, let's get on with some questions. How long have you been making music, and what get you started? Yeah, it says on my uh, on my uh, website that um, I found a guitar with a skip. Uh, whilst helping a friend move, we strung it, had some lessons, and the rest is history. Uh, it also says that I uh, looked for, I played piano and looked for a piano in a skip, but eventually had to buy one, just couldn't find one. But there is kind of some truth to that. I did, I did actually find a um, guitar in the skip. I got it restrung, uh, got some lessons. Um, my guitar instructor said that you ain't ever playing anything with that. The best thing you can do is chuck it in the bin and get a new guitar, which I did. Um, and then continue the lessons and the guitar instructor became a very good friend and we started recording some stuff. He was having Spanish lessons at the time um, and he always used to record everything as Pepe um, and obviously he did some backing tracks, he became the Bandits. Uh, so when I first released my first song I was going to be nothing else other than Pepe and the Bandits but it just get a bit confusing because uh, people tend to think that I'm a band but I'm not obviously, I'm a solo artist. Uh, singer-songwriter, so just could create a little bit of confusion there. Yeah, so I did uh, release my first song, Corona, in March 20 at the start, just at the start of the very first lockdown. I had a bit of time on my hands, so uh, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd actually just sort of release something, because I've got loads of songs written, and, but I hadn't actually released anything as such. And it was obviously a play on the right virus, being, uh, being a woman, an ex that you didn't want to see anymore. Uh, hence the lyric, I've washed my hands with you, hoping we don't meet, won't even say hi to you if I see you in the street. Uh, well, it went viral. I flew out of the shops. So I did that. What's your latest release called? Tell us a little something about the track. So my latest release is Take a Pill, Bill and Chill. Uh, a little bit different for me. Um, but then I do like to flip between genres, really. Uh, that's the beauty of being your own boss, isn't it? An independent. I've got no constraints. Uh, I'm comfortable with a guitar singing a ballad as I'm with a, a dance track or an EDM number. Um, so take a pill, Bill and Chill. Um, yeah, a little bit abstract, uh, a bit of trance, a bit electronic. Uh, I just combine the lot, really. Um, I'd say anyone to check out the video on YouTube because uh, I think it's the best video I've ever produced. Um, music wise, uh, I prefer singing but you know it's difficult if I'm doing something trancey to kind of get vocals into it really but you know have a listen to it then. Who's the last artist you just listened to? I've just been listening to uh, Son of Dave, uh, I just love the harmonica. Um, as you well know, we both love a bit of harmonica, and you've got some in your latest um, release with Orange G, I believe. Um, you know, he's another great harmonica player. But yeah, so I, I would check out Son of Dave. Um, not many people would probably know him. They've probably heard some of his stuff because he's used in advertising, Breaking Bad, and stuff like that. But he's one cool person, and I really, really like that. He's cool, and. Uh, he can really play the harmonica. So yeah, check him out, son of Dave. Can you tell me an interesting fact about you? Something that we probably wouldn't know. An interesting fact? Hmm, okay. Well, I'm an interesting guy. I've got them in hundreds. Uh, one that springs to mind. My dad was in the army with Lonnie Donegan. They were really good mates and he lent my dad a suit. Uh, we're talking in about, oh, I don't know, 19... 55, 56, something like that. Um, yeah, they were in the army together and we were good friends. But unfortunately, Lonnie Donegan passed away um, in my village. But he wasn't visiting my dad. He was visiting somebody else. But uh, yeah, really sad that. But um, oh my goodness, he was ahead of his time, wasn't he? Absolute genius. The king of skiffle. 
Yeah, I love some Molly Donegan. So yeah, it's kind of an interesting fact. What's inspired you to do music? Wow, that's a that's a really difficult question, Lenny. It really is. Uh, it's, it's a difficult question because music, for me, it's an outlet. I need to I need to make music. Um, if I didn't make music, I would probably just explode or something. Um, so I need to create. I need to I need to make music. Yeah. And if people listen or like it, then that's a, that's a, that's a massive bonus. Every artist loves that email or message saying that they loved your stuff or. Um, it's kind of what we do, isn't it? Well, at least I do. Um, there always seems to be one person though, that dislikes something. I'll, I'll put up a, a post on YouTube or something and there's just one dislike. It's like one person who's scrolling around looking for something not to like. I bet he's fun at parties. What a life, huh? What a miserable existence. Yeah. Okay, dream gig. What two artists or bands, dead or alive, would you perform with and where would that gig be? Dream gig. Yeah, pretty easy for me really. Um, probably the Flaming Lips and Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. Uh, we're going to hit a big stage because uh, there's a lot of people there, a lot of performers. Uh, I probably want it on a beach somewhere. Uh, we're going to need some food outlets because we're all going to have the munchies. Um, I remember having a family holiday in Florida at Pier 60 and watching the sun go down um, over over the sea and the sand and that sort of thing. So yeah, let's have it. Let's have it somewhere in Florida where it's sort of the sun setting and we can lift some really chilled out tunes. Yeah, I'm up for that. Are you coming? Thanks for the interview. Is there anybody you want to give a shout out to? Shout outs uh, always difficult, isn't they? Then yeah, but um, to be honest, everyone on Twitter, usual crew, um, uh, John Mickey. Um, uh, London Peaky, Martina Dormer, uh, yourself Nanny, uh, all, all those people that basically uh, are doing as much as they can and more for indie artists really. Uh, there's others as well but there's too many to list uh, but they know who they are uh, and they're working tirelessly to help other other people which which I really admire so uh, yeah that's that's that, that, that's my main shout out. Yeah, so thanks, Nelly. Thanks for having me on. Really appreciate it. And uh, just like to, you know, wish everyone a, again a happy new year. Let's hope for, for better things this year for everybody. Um, and most importantly, you know, have fun, stay safe, and uh, take care. And I'll catch you with we soon. See ya. Bye.